Hi everyone, hope you're having a, a wonderful day today. Got a uh, HP 15 EQ1540 SA that's come in. It's come in for some software stuff that I've got to do on it and also uh, I noticed when I when I switch it on, I hope you can hear this noise. It is Okay, I don't know if you heard that, I'll try it again. So I power the power that top on and power it off again. I'm gonna put it closer to my uh, my microphone. You heard that, that's very clear. That sounds like either the fan's broken or something is uh, disturbing it. So what I'm gonna do first of all is remove that fan. So what I need to do first of all is remove these uh, rubber strips here, which uh, make sure that the machine is slightly off at the surface that you're using it on and it aids the cooling. So the cooling, uh, the, the, the fan will suck in the air from here and, and get it, get rid of it from uh, somewhere else. But you have to be careful with these because these can actually, I've seen people try to take these off and they actually rip off. So uh, get some alcohol, put a bit in there and just keep putting it in as you're going along and it will make the job you could put it up put the alcohol in actually put quite a bit in and put it to one angle like i'm doing now and it will just go down as you're peeling away and the alcohol will follow through and as it dries up just put a bit more into the groove and as you can see comes off easily when it dries up the actual uh, adhesive will be a lot more it will still have its strength so you won't lose as you can see I can't even get it off my glove so just put that to one side uh, what I'll do probably stick it on here so I don't lose it and we'll do the same thing on the the other one this is a bit of a bit of a trickier one it's a bit thicker so I'm going to use my metal screwdriver just to get it started. Okay, uh, again, alcohol. And see, the thing is, you, you, when people do take these off, I've seen it, they just split and then, you know, it's a nightmare. You don't want them to split, it's just a rubbish job, isn't it? So, tilt it to one side, let the alcohol go down with it, and you can see it's coming off literally like butter. And the alcohol, is following all the way through. So you've got a clean job. You can put this just on here and uh, it'll be safe. Let me get a, an empty container for my screws. Actually, there's, there's quite a few to take off. This particular side has got an adhesive strip just there. So you may need to remove that as well. And that should just come off, it shouldn't it shouldn't split. I think you can see there. Okay, we can keep that uh, keep that to one side, just keep it safe, just keep it there somewhere if it's to behave itself so what I want to do is I want to um, take the, the uh, to inspect the fan visually, visually inspect what's going on and if we need to order a, a new fan uh, we'll go ahead and, and do that um, let me get my magnetic pickup tool um, maybe this should be okay should be able to Get them off for this. No, to my other desk. Just makes the lock job a lot easier with the tool. Okay. Okay, so all the screws are there. So now let's get this uh, palm rest off. Uh, the back cover off, sorry, from the palm rest. So just get your um, tool. I use one of the metal ones. Uh, which is a little bit flexible, it won't damage anything. Just don't make sure you don't mark any of the plastic as you're doing it. 
I'm just going to go around and unclip the palm rest. Make sure there's no sockets anywhere. Okay. I want to create a damage which we have to repair later. We don't want to do that. Okay, that should come off quite easily now. Let's have a look, make sure there's nothing in the way. Okay, so let's have a look at this fan. So there's the fan there. Okay, I can't see nothing that there that is loose, so I'm just gonna power it up and let's see where this noise is coming from. Was there anything? Uh, there is a bit of dirt just there in that cover. Um, and maybe that is causing an issue. Maybe it's touching the, the fan blades. Um, so let's switch it on. Let's switch it off again. Okay, so there's something here. I don't know if you can see that. There's something just, just there that's sticking out. Now, that, I think, is some sort of... Someone's been eating something on there or whatever, but I think that is what's been causing the problem. So, if I just carefully get some gooey stuff, I think someone has been eating the dinner while using the machine. So, I'm going to press the power button again. Absolutely silent. So there is actually nothing wrong with the fan. Um, I've got two machines from the same person and both of them are pretty battered. Uh, but what, um, I don't think uh, anything else needs doing on here to be honest, I think it's clean. I'm just gonna, they did say that this one does heat up. So I'm gonna inspect the thermal paste and the fan. A heat sink to see uh, if that does need to be renewed uh, in fact while I'm taking it off I may as well renew it and um, that's pretty straightforward um, to be fair it doesn't look great does it so it looks a bit dry and we're going to remove it now and clean it all up nicely and put new paste on I want to remove the fan as well because I'm not happy with I'm going to clean that up inside with just an air duster. A good way to do is check that there's nothing uh, there. Okay, just remove the connector for the fan. That seems fairly clean, apart from the disgusting stuff. So, what I'm going to do is actually clean uh, the, the fan and also I'm going to clean uh, the dirt off there. I don't know how I'm going to get that off but I'll give it a go. Oh it's just it's just crumbling off so whatever that is. Too much alcohol can just break it up a little bit. Leave that on there to soak for a few seconds. Um, meanwhile I'll get my uh, bits and bobs just to remove the... In fact there's some on there as well. Just get rid of that. I'll get my thermal paste. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a bit of alcohol on here and uh, just clean that off. I'll take this off as well. We'll put that back in its proper place and it's been done not the best way, has it, really? Put that to one side. Okay, so let's put more alcohol on there. Just get some cotton buds. Just to go around. I mean, this, this video kind of shows you how to replace a fan as well. So it's kind of a two-in-one video. 
for, 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 for my viewers, my channel. Um, okay, that's fine, that's okay. And I'm going to remove uh, the, uh, the old paste off the heat sink as well. Just going to clean that off with a bit of cloth. I don't want to get anything in the machine, so I'll do it to one side, okay. That's fine as well. And I'll just clean off a little bit of the uh, little protection tape they had on there. Okay, so we can put that back on. So, just gonna got got one of these uh, handheld pumps, uh, which just cleans out the dust. So you can just clean whatever else out. Just have a. It's not too bad. It's not much dust in this machine. It's quite good, apart from uh, people eating on the device. So uh, we'll get rid of. All that stuff as well, a bit of alcohol on the, on the cloth. That should break down the food or whatever was on there. It's not coming off actually, so I'm going to have to use something a bit stronger. Which is a bit of like a, just some cleaner actually. Yeah, see, I use it sometimes window cleaner. It's got, because it's got vinegar in there. It's a very good cleaner. And as you can see now, that is uh, spot on. Quick, uh, things falling through. Put that to one side and put a bit of window cleaner on this as well. Sorry about that, I had a phone call in between. But yeah, I mean, I've just removed the screws. Take off the, uh, the panel now. Again, the back cover. Um, same thing we did earlier. Just goes to show that I'm doing this I'm not gonna, you know, I could have easily cut out that part and, uh, you know, you would have noticed it. Oh, you forgot to put the fan in. But that's what it's about, isn't it? You know, we do make mistakes. So, well, everything's perfect. So there you can see the, the fan. So, it's now connected. So what I'm going to do before screwing in, putting the screws in to the casing, I'm just going to show you that it's done. Let's put the power button on. No sound whatsoever. Okay, so I'm happy with that. That's a, another good job that we've done. So yeah, I'll end the video now. I'll, you know what I'm going to do with the rest of the, the video. Have a great day and uh, we'll see you on the next one.